What is going on everybody? My name is Daniel M47 for all of you that don't know and for those of you that do welcome back to the channel for more content Today all of you have probably seen this title you probably think it's clickbait and a few of you have probably seen exactly what I'm talking about already, but we're gonna be talking about <laughs> The probability of Halo Infinite's free-to-play multiplayer launching on Monday November 15th now that sounds really weird, right? We already know that the release date for Halo Infinite is December 8th. About three weeks ago, from what I can tell, there started to be what I like to call the rustling, right? And basically what happened was there was a countdown timer. If you searched on Google, Halo Infinite. All you type in is Halo Infinite. You don't type in Halo Infinite launch because you can still find this now. Go do it if you don't believe me. But if you search Halo Infinite in Google's search bar, you will get a countdown timer. That counts down to November 15th. Now, that is not uncommon, right? There are a few there's been a few different times that I can remember where there were countdown timers to launches. Um, some of them were early access, some of them never came to be, they were just put there early on when the game was still like being developed and they originally had a time that it was going to release but then they pushed it back. So I thought that the countdown timer was actually counting down to last year's November 15th, which was supposedly when the game was going to launch for the 20th anniversary of CE and everything like that. But obviously that fell through and they pushed it back because of the backlash due to their E3 presentation. So, I did a little bit of digging. It's not 2020. It is, in fact, countdown to November 15th, 2021. And I couldn't find a link to that countdown timer being linked to any other website. So in my mind, I immediately think, wow, well, who would have put that there? And who would have been able to get that put on... The home page of like Google search if it wasn't somebody high up at either Microsoft or 343 so that that was my first thought process right but then it gets a little bit deeper than that if you follow these guys over on Twitter they've they've done a really good job of putting together a comprehensive guide as to like all the reasons why it is actually coming out on November 15th I agree with a lot of their statements uh, there's a few things in here I think is a little nuanced but uh, the only thing I don't quite agree with is that Joe Staten said that they're having a little secret thing going on for the 20th anniversary of Xbox and everything like that I, I don't I think that's a bit of a stretch but I mean it's whatever but you've got that, like I said. And if you read through this, this is a lot of stuff that I'm going to be talking about here. The same thing I just told you. On top of the fact that there's a code dump from the Waypoint servers, or it was the Waypoint app, is one of the two, I don't know. Um, but you can see here that the licensing key IDs pre-order release date is 11-15-2021. Now, this is something that was released, I think, a day ago at this point, maybe two days ago, by a few different people over on Twitter. And obviously, when you throw out things on Twitter, that does not mean just about anything. Twitter is not a very reliable place to get information from. What is interesting is when multiple people come out with different screenshots because, like, you can see it is the same code with different backgrounds and you know you can kind of cross reference them and be like oh well this is somebody's on a different computer than this guy and they're finding the same information now we have a few different people that are you know actually somewhat reliable coming out and saying the same thing and then <laughs> you've also got the fact that if you look on pringles uh they also have a countdown timer to the same date november 15th pretty crazy so all of this just kind of culminates into what I like to call the Halo Infinite rabbit hole. And that's, a, I mean, obviously what the thumbnail is kind of titled after, because it does. Explaining this to people has been the most Q shit right here. I'm going to be honest with you, this is <laughs> some straight up conspiracy stuff. But the more I look into it, the more and more realistic it becomes in my mind. Because you've got all this stuff, right? But then... The, the solidifying thing to me is the fact that if you look on Halo, like the official Halo Twitter, and you look at everything they've posted, right, under about, just about every post they make that is official outside of like the real Spartans, birthday and stuff like that, there are people linking 
to that countdown timer. He's saying, hey, what's up with this? Hey, what's up with this? And this goes back from what I could tell about three weeks, probably further than that. But I stopped at three weeks because I feel like that's a good enough reference time frame. And 343 has been very vocal and they are not afraid to tell people when A, they're being stupid or B, when something is blatantly incorrect. We've seen Frank O'Connor do this. We've seen Sketch do this. We've seen plenty of people do this. But when it comes to this countdown timer and the idea of the already free to play multiplayer that is separate from the paid campaign experience being released earlier than the campaign, it makes a lot of sense. Well, it makes a lot more sense than you would probably think assuming you're open to the idea. <laughs> Because the only other game that I think most people will recognize as having done something kind of like this was Apex Legend most recently, a few years back. It had absolutely no buildup, and that's what always felt odd to me. It's not that Halo Infinite didn't have any buildup, it's that the marketing cycle was so different that I just figured it had to do with them not wanting a repeat of Halo 5's marketing for obvious reasons. But when you think about the fact that this multiplayer experience is so different than everything we've already had, and they've already kind of marketed it to its core audience, the biggest way outside of making it free to play is to shadow drop it like Apex Legends did. It had no build up, and then all of a sudden it released and there were all these content creators that were like, yeah, no, I played this game, it's great, it's out here, you can play it right now, it's free to play. And if Halo, an already established franchise, does that, it is going to blow up in popularity. More so than I think everybody that was out there talking about how this game needed a battle royale to last longer than three weeks. I think this is their response to that. And it doesn't seem like they hadn't already planned this, which is what's really weird. But yeah, the solidifying factor to me is the fact that they have not said a single word about it. Now, I've seen some people saying, oh, well, all this looks good, but maybe they'll release the campaign early. I don't see that happening. They set a release date, and it makes sense that you set a release date for something that you paid for to be released at a certain time. Now, like, people kept saying, oh, well, there's going to be a deluxe version that you can pay for, and if you pay extra, then you'll get it early. Why would you be paying more for a deluxe version of a campaign only to get early access to the already free-to-play multiplayer they want everybody to be playing that doesn't really make sense any way you slice it do not expect the campaign to be released on november 15th i don't think anybody should be reasonably expecting that but like i said just don't get your hopes up on that but yep that is kind of all the information i've got right here hopefully this kind of either helps some of you understand why a lot of people are thinking that it's actually going to release or maybe it's just going to get you already more hyped than you were because you already believed it was going to release on the 15th but i just wanted to put this out there for all of you skeptics because i was a skeptic until about three days ago and it the, the rabbit hole just kept getting deeper and deeper and deeper and at this point my hype for this game is through the roof and i cannot wait until one o'clock eastern time for that xbox 20th anniversary live stream because i swear they shadow drop that i'm going to cream my pants along with i think a lot of people but anyways that is going to be the end of this video guys if you enjoy be sure to like that be sure to like the like button kiss it caress it i don't care what you do with it do something to it though and subscribe if you're new around here i make content sometimes so you don't have to worry about getting pinged all the time but also um when halo infinite launches I'm gonna be doing a lot of content on the game. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about in terms of the multiplayer because that's what we're hopefully getting in two days. But in terms of campaign too, that's it's gonna be awesome. That's about all I've got. I'm gonna stop because I didn't script this at all. I just wanted to get this out there for everybody to know and be prepared for it to release on Monday. Um, but yeah, I'll see you on Monday, guys.